royal position. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It was my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. Whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am the to pity scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat was funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not that. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. We must admire Lord Pendleton's composure in the face of his terrible loss. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready?
region's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think they'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask in here is such a glad idea. Enjoy your evening out with the full of quality. Better you than me. This was too easy. Huh? Somebody, please help! Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine? And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Yeah. 
abbey is dark, its doors are locked, and no more the very sermons. The overseers have taken to the streets.
fortress. Have you ever been inside? Oh, I have. Last year, Waverly was Well, it's an ill wind and so forth. Do you know about tonight's game? Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same... Oh, there went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what's happened to this city. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would? And we'll go inside Invitation, and make nasty remarks about Emma Stowell. Well, we know I know, Jen, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a hand. Right this way, she sir. She must be desperate. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. The life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. Look at that mask. Sick bastard. Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now? What is it tonight? Yes, which is which. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and then let's see what you're made of. Be it noted that Lord Pendleton's representative has a pistol. You may proceed. Test of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stand right there. Three, two, one. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top Chances coin. Are very good. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. Enjoy yourself. The party's indoors Inside. this time. <clears throat> Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse Should we gather me, for whiskey and cigars tonight? Key. Yes, of course. Of course I don't mean you. But people Did you ask hear about Mrs. And the boys are off you'll never believe this. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the watch to impress people. Your obsession. 
obsession with the boil. Will it never end? Ugh, you smell like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? <laughs> family. I think she ran a family a while ago. What's it all about? How do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only... Ooh, scary mask. Welcome to the party. You? A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle. Go ahead, help yourself. I take everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. You remember. What most people don't remember is... The rats came a half a year before the Empress died, and the plague too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's Hello, what I sir. want you to think. Watch what you're saying. Excuse me. You seem interesting. I love that mark on the back of your hand. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in red tonight. That wanton thing. Additionally, Lydia's in white. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me, forever. One hour later...
Get it over with and let me go. Please, please let me go. Get her on board. At last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. Inches later. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> 